biking out my Tacoma door handle with electrical tape. What? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? A little cloudy and rainy here today. Um, anyway, as many of you may know, I have been looking to change out the door handles on my Toyota Tacoma to go to black. So today, I'm going to be blacking them out, at least one of them anyway, with some electrical tape. You know, I keep going back and forth on this. Will it look good? Won't it look good? I don't know. I will say the resounding majority of people that left comments on the video uh, told me that they thought it would look good. They were all for it. So I've decided, you know, and I'm almost there, man. I'm almost there. I have the door handles. Um, I bought them over a year ago. Um, this is what they are. This is what they would look like. But it's kind of a pain. Matter of fact, it's a royal pain to do the rears. The fronts aren't so bad. And that's kind of what's held me back a little bit too. I mean, normally I'd just go ahead, switch them out. If I didn't like them, I'd put the old ones back on. But it's a major undertaking to do the rears. So that's really my hang up here. But I had a suggestion from Randall, uh, my buddy with the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, and a few other people to wrap it in electrical tape, black electrical tape, right? That'll at least give me an idea of what it's going to look like. And it's very temporary, obviously. Well, hopefully. I can just pull the electrical tape back off. It won't leave a bunch of adhesive on there. Typically, electrical tape does not unless it's really, really warm. And for me today, it's probably in the 60s. So I should be able to black out my door handles by just wrapping it with some electrical tape or at least one. So let's go over. I need to grab a pair of scissors here. And we're going to go ahead and do that just to get kind of a final confirmation, if you will, as to what it's going to look like once it is black. And it's not going to be a perfect job. I mean, I'm not going to spend hours doing this or anything. But you can see, obviously, right here is the door handle. We're going to do just the front door handle. Um, and maybe I'll open the door just to separate it from the back once I have it done. But let's go ahead and uh and get some black tape on there all right let's go ahead i'm going to kind of just try to do this in strips and i'm not going to completely wrap the thing all i need is the surface area that you can see obviously right so we're going to kind of just start over here on the edge this should give me a i think a really good idea actually this was uh, a brilliant idea by the way uh, <laughs> Thanks to you folks out there who suggested it. I think uh, it'll really cement for me uh, what the look is going to be. And I do want it to be, you know, somewhat good on here just so I can get a, a good idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, let's see. And we will, if I stand in front of you there. Again, I'm not going to do a fantastic job. Obviously, we're not going to leave the black tape on there, but good enough so I can get a good feel for what it's going to look like. So I do want to kind of cover up as much as I can within reason, you know. Okay, I've got it done and we're up here to the entryway to the garage because I want you guys to have the same view that I'm going to have um, as I walk down and see the truck. So here we go. You'll have to tell me what you think. There it is from up top here, just kind of looking down at it. And I know there's a lot of glare and stuff. I'll turn the light off. I don't know if it really makes much difference. Uh, but walking down the steps here. Uh, to what I would see as I'm approaching the truck. Again, it's not perfect, but uh, it gives you an idea. That's kind of what it would look like. Now, let's put the um, 
what would be on it up against it. You can see the shine is a little bit different, but man, it's not hugely off, <laughs> really, uh, for what it's going to look like. The actual door handle itself would be a shinier version, but you can see right there as to the comparison between the two. So let's get some different views. You can see here, looking at it from the side of the truck, just kind of walking past. Let's look at it down the side. You can see over here. I think I like it. Uh, kind of trying to get used to it a little bit, looking at it from out here. I think it's pretty cool. I think I might go with it. This gives me a much better visual, I guess, as to what the truck is gonna look like with black door handles on it. Let's look at it dead from the side here. If I can get a good view in the garage. There you go. Uh, it would match the mirrors and it would tie in with the rest of the black on the truck. So I think I'm digging it. I think it, uh, I think it may well be worth the project. One more angle too, by the way. Here's a view of one with and one without, just to kind of see the difference between them. Kind of walk to the side here a little. That's kind of to compare, I guess, the blacked out one versus the non-blacked out one. Let's get a little bit of distance here. A little bit from the side. There you go. You guys are gonna have to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you dig it? Does it look good? I know it's electrical tape and there's some imperfections in it, of course, but generally in comparing it with the rest of the truck, what do you think? I'd be curious to know. For me, I think it's going to be a go. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'd be curious to, to know what you guys think. Also, real quick, I have two additional channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.